And Paul and Jesus and John walked this earth. There is messages right now which is being preached day after day after day that was not preached 200 years ago. For if the messages preached today was preached 200 years ago, you would have not had the great revivals. You would not have the great outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Because the messages preached today will not bring forth conviction. Because the messages preached today is being preached that everybody makes it. Everybody makes it. Why? Because 80 to 90% of the people believe in Jesus. 80 to 90% of the people definitely here in America believe in God. And the message being preached is just believe. Just believe. And you will make it to heaven. I preached a sermon the other day showed in God's word that if you don't remain in Christ, if you're not on fire for God, he will vomit you out of his mouth. And everybody says, yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Well, let me say this, friend. This is the best friend you've got. You know why? Because there's a song that says, Oh, the friend we have in Jesus. Bear, my, bear with my saying. All our griefs and sins to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. John said that the Word of God became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. You want a visitation of Jesus Christ? Come sit in your recliner and put this book on your lap. Open it and let Jesus talk to you today. You want a visitation of the Holy Ghost? Get in a quiet room, turn your cell phone off, open this book, and let the Holy Ghost talk to you. Let the Holy Ghost visit you. For Jesus said, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, I cannot send the Comforter. But if I go away, I will send the Comforter. He will lead and guide you into all truths. This book is all truth. I implore you, I admonish you to get in God's word in these final moments the same way that blind Samson said, Lord, give me strength just one more time. God granted him that God-given strength. He pushed those beams apart and he killed all of these people that was making mockery of God's anointed man. Get in God's word, my friend. May God put a hunger in your heart right now that you don't want to go out and play golf. You don't want to go get anything to drink before you first get God's word and at least take it with you. Put it in your golf bag. You go to football games, put it in your purse. Put it in your pocket. You may sit beside somebody in a football game and they say, what's that little book you got there, dude? Oh, that's the most precious thing I have. That's God's holy word. Really? Can I look at it? Sure. You hand it to him. He starts listening. What does this mean right here? You could very well save a soul from hell just by carrying your Bible with you. The Word of God says that the Bible is a two-edged sword, sharper than any two-edged sword. Carry the Word of God. For the Word of God is how Jesus defeated Satan by saying, It is written, it is written, it is written. Get in God's Word, people. It is written. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven. It is written with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. It is written. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. It is written, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up and together with the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. It is written, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. It is written. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. God bless you.